All right, welcome back, everybody. The music of Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill album has become a Tony Award-winning Broadway musical. And the national tour is coming to the Bushnell, and opening night is tomorrow. How exciting. I know. We are joined now by Dylan Klenna, who plays Nick, to find out more about the show. Good morning, Dylan. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right, so we're going back to high school here. Be somebody that makes everybody feel like a somebody. <laughs> yeah, that was my senior quote in high school. And I think you're, um, I think you're doing that. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a surreal experience getting to take a show around the country and, and share it with the world. And so um, it's been an honor to get to do so, Dylan, especially with this show, with this music. So, yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. Dylan, where are you from originally? I'm from Los Angeles, okay. California. So now you're on the yeah. East Coast. You said you're touring around the country. Um, and you're 22 years old. So did you grow up knowing who Alanis Morissette is? She's kind of an icon at this point, right? Well, yeah. I mean, the album came out before I was born. But when I was growing up, my mom used to play um, the album all the time, whether it be in like the car or we hear on the radio, songs like Hand in My Pocket and You Ought to Know. And and so those songs always stuck out through through my upbringing. So I remember I remember those key songs, but then joining the production and, and, and being a part of the show and learning about all the other music that she has to offer. It's like, wow, like this woman is uh, is is um, is an amazing writer. And, and there's reasons why the songs have stand, uh, stood the test of time since since 1995. So, yeah, Dylan, I know. Uh, can you just for anybody out there who doesn't know the story the you know, the, can you give us a little synopsis of the of the musical? Yeah, so um, Jagged Little Pill is about the Healy family, and to the common eye, they live in Connecticut, which is funny. We're in Connecticut right now. It's kind of crazy, um, but it's about the fam, the Healy family, and to the common eye, we look like the, the perfect family. But then, as you look at what happens behind closed doors, you start to peel back the banana and see all the issues that these people go through and realize that they're just normal people mm. going through the daily struggles and um, coming out on the other end with um, a hopeful mindset to change for the better. What do you like most about playing Nick? Um, I love the, the, the familiar struggles that kids in high school can, you know, um, relate to the, the fact of always, um, trying to live up to expectation, um, from our parents and how, what that can do to you, not only in your household, but also in social situations. Um, and so I feel like my character speaks to that youth that is, that is not as open. Um, and so this kind of, you know, speaks to the people to be open and to, you know, accept everything for what it is and, and, um, and grow from it. All right. So I know you're in the role that your older brother, Derek, originated on Broadway and was nominated for a Tony. And apparently, are you still wearing his shoes? Yes. See, that's the cool thing is that when you when you get to like, I don't know, it's just those little things or it make things makes experiences like this so special. Um, so, yeah, I do wear his shoes. And there's a couple of other things that um, that we both share from the Broadway production and now. Um, so that's that's been a wonderful treat to get to share with him, too. Just um, <laughs> this is a rare experience that doesn't really get to happen. So um, to to be able to take this part and make something new with it while paying homage to what's been done before has has been a great experience for me and yeah. for us and my family and so yeah it's yeah, been, that's wonderful it's been really great you're not following his footsteps yeah. you're actually wearing his, his <laughs> shoes and walking in his footsteps yeah. right yeah i mean that's that's such a rare thing so like uh, to get to experience that it's been great yeah. now we understand that you met alanis what was that experience like and did she give you any kind of advice or insight into the show Oh, she's she's so cool. When she walks into the room, like all, all the energy goes to her. Like she she lights up a room the minute she walks in. She's such a down to earth individual that I just respect so much. Um, but we met her a couple of times. We met her in L.A. and then we had a work session with her in San Francisco, where she came in and talked about her music and and um, the reasons why she wrote things. And and we got to ask her thing personal questions about some of the lyrics and stuff like that. Like it was just a, a workshop session with her. And she's and so to get that experience and to get her to come in and and teach us and kind of show us the the authenticity and the originality of where these things came from um yeah it, she's she's a great person and so it's been great to have her guidance and have her show up 
um, throughout our tour and, and say hello. Just, she left you with a quote, the sensitive shall inherit the earth. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I believe that's, I believe that's really, um, I believe that's, I believe in that because if you, if I feel like if you're more open to new things and you're open to more that the world has to offer, offer, you'll become a more well-rounded individual and less closed off and more open to receiving um, things and, and emotions and, and experiences. So yeah. Well, we Sensitive can't. will inherit the earth. I feel like we show that with our show, too. So Awesome. And we are so excited yeah. about the show, which opens tonight, tonight, actually. And there's the information up on your screen. So go check it out. And Dylan, congratulations. And we, we look forward to seeing you. Yeah, we can't wait to hear you sing perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. It'll be fun. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, it was our pleasure. Thanks. And good luck to you. Break a leg. Absolutely.